And now a word from our producer. Death is just around the corner. One who has taken birth is sure to die, and after death, one is sure to take birth again. Spoken by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 2. Now, for some reason, we human beings are unwilling to accept this fact. You may be thinking that while death may come to others, it will somehow or other not come to me. You hear about others dying, but it never comes into your mind that you could be next. The whole situation is like that of a slaughterhouse, where one animal is being slaughtered and another one is busy munching on grass and doesn't realize that it will be his turn next. We call this ignorance. From the highest planet in the material world down to the lowest, all are places of misery wherein repeated birth and death take place. But one who attains to my abode, O son of Kunti, never takes birth again. Lord Krishna speaking in Bhagavad Gita chapter 8. Material life is full of calamities. The less intelligent persons try to make a material adjustment to those calamities because they have no information of the supreme abode of the Lord, which is full of bliss and without a trace of calamity. We call that Vaikuntha. The really intelligent persons try to give up attachment for this material world. You may be thinking that your life is very comfortable with your money big house, nice cars, beautiful partner, etc. But what is the value of this so-called comfortable life? If one day you are going to lose everything and be slaughtered by nature, what to speak of your next life, which may be in the animal kingdom? The animals in the slaughterhouse live very comfortably, but they are only awaiting to be hacked to death. The same goes for you. The animals cannot escape the wrath of the butcher and you cannot escape the wrath of Krishna's material nature. However, you have a choice, either going through the whole drama of material life, birth, old age, disease and death, again and again, or become free from material life, no death, no marital problems, no taxes, no disease, no poverty, no wars, no terrorism, no anxiety, and so on. The souls in bodies lower than human beings are on a fixed cycle of transformation from one body to the next in these non-human kingdoms. They perhaps will have to go through eight million births before they get another human birth. Those who are now human beings have already been through the eight million species of life in the lower kingdoms. But if a human being misuses or fails to utilize the higher consciousness awarded by such a special birth as a human being, then the soul will once again have to go through the eight million births in the lower kingdom, such as plant, aquatic, insect, bird, reptile, and beast. Only a complete fool would waste this rare human birth. Only by engaging in bhakti yoga, devotional service, unto Lord Krishna, can a human being become free from material life and go to the kingdom of God, which is called Goloka Vrindavan, the abode of Lord Krishna, where there is no old age, no disease, no taxes, no wars, no terrorism, no depression. Where will you be in 50 years time? And that is a very serious thought to consider now, because soon, 
you will no longer be here.